I can't imagine being up there by myself alone. Alone and the music, the yeah. music playing and you singing. Yeah, I'll do that as soon as you get in a box with some snakes. No, mine. <laughs> yours is way more um, reasonable. I got buried in the coffin underground for three days for a radio. Party. What? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Never happier. No, there, was a, there was a pipe that went up to the to the top. They had to have an armed security guard there at all times so that nobody would come and like pour stuff down the pipe. For three days. Yeah, they nailed it shut. You don't pee or poop. Was there dirt on top of you? Mm-hmm. And when you lay down flat, your body will stop. I thought doing you could stuff. pee. I thought you could pee. There was a bag in there that you could pee in, right. but they wanted you to empty your bladder before you got in. Right. And so you had to. We did that promotion as well. And then they le- they gave you um, a little thing of Gatorade, but it was a small thing of Gatorade, and you had to just take tiny sips. And uh, they would give you like little. They gave you a, a like little uh, uh, granola bars, but the same thing. They just wanted you to nibble on it. They didn't drop want it down you- the pipe. No, that was there for you. You know, when you got into the coffin, that was what was in there for you. There was a light. There was a light bulb. They had attached a light bulb inside of it that you could turn off with a little chain. And uh, the only other thing in there was a phone because I had to do call-ins to the radio station. Like, this is like a real coffin. That a real coffin. That a body would be. Made of, it was a pine. Yeah. Uh, they, did. Uh, they did it all over the place. Yeah. Like the big thing. Uh, uh, we're going to bury him in the ground until we raise so much money. Yeah. yeah. And they put me in there, and they and I remember what I remember so distinctly about it was them n- nailing it, because they put nails in it. Oh my gosh! And they nailed it shut, and then they buried it, and then you could hear the dirt pouring oh on top of it. And then there was but but there was a pipe that went up to the top, and the pipe at the top had a had a, a bend in it, and it had a mirror, and so people could look down into the pipe and see my eyes. As I laid underground with the light on. The creepiest thing I've ever heard. You know, for me, I kind of liked the. Yeah, I felt safe. And, what about when the dirt was dropping? What was going through your head? That was unnerving. There's no doubt about it. When the nails went in, and when the dirt was being poured on top of it, it was unnerving. There's no doubt. It's but I. I was thinking about it. But I knew. I was like, you know, there's a pipe where I can breathe. There's a security guard. What you do all day? No, this was before cell phones. It so was this just wire a, went all the way look, down? Just like this phone. Just like a plastic uh, phone. The wire went down into the coffin. And, uh, yeah, I'd sit there and make phone calls. Yeah. When I met one of my girlfriends at the dealership that we did this at, we did it behind the dealership. Uh, uh, everybody did it at the car dealership. That's when... Everybody, yeah. This is a big radio bed. I'm glad I was not back in radio bed.